okay let's look at a uh, friction so suppose we have a body of m as rested at an inclined plane at an angle of a theta and is being pulled uh, upwards by the force of f at an angle of alpha so uh, then if we have a body at an inclined plane it always has uh, this uh, force so we have this force which is our w or cos theta uh, then we have uh, this force which is our w w sine theta okay and then we have our normal reaction which is n r then we have a frictional force a frictional force always opposed the direction of motion which is a, a frictional force so if our motion is going upwards uh, then our, our if our body is going upwards then our frictional force will go downwards so these are the forces that act in the body at an inclined plane so if we have to calculate the force f so the question says uh, calculate the smallest uh, force f required to put the body upwards if this body is in is moving at a constant uh, acceleration so if we are moving at a constant acceleration that means uh, our in our our acceleration is equal to a zero so if we have our in constant uh, velocity that means our final velocity is equal to to our initial uh, velocity so if our initial velocity that means acceleration will be uh, final velocity minus initial uh, velocity over time therefore this one will give us zero so and we know that we have uh, the formula that say uh, frictional uh, okay force applied uh, force applied uh, minus frictional force minus uh, w sine uh, theta is equals to m a yeah. so uh, this formula is only applicable okay so if we have uh, this uh, formula if they say this uh, uh, body is moving at a constant velocity that means our final velocity is a uh, zero therefore a uh, first applied first applied will will be equal to uh, would then we move all this into the other side which means it will be frictional force uh, plus plus is w sine sine theta now so uh, then uh, if we come to uh, this equation that means a frictional uh, force uh, plus w sine theta it give you uh, this uh, force so but uh, in this case this uh, our force is at an uh, is at an angle of alpha therefore we have to resolve first this force into a horizontal component which gives us f cos uh, alpha then uh, upwards will give us uh, the force going upward so we know that uh, if a force is at an angle it's having two components which is the horizontal component and the vertical component so in the vertical component it gives us f sine alpha okay so then uh, that means uh, if we use uh, this equation they say frictional force frictional force plus w sine theta it give us uh, this uh, force so therefore we have uh, from uh, this um, from uh, this equation so that means a force applied is equal to uh, f cos alpha so therefore then now f f cos alpha is equals to uh, w uh, sine theta plus our frictional force mm. okay so then uh, this one is a frictional force 
then uh, for normal reaction uh, here for normal reaction usually if uh, this uh, f uh, force was at the horizontal plane uh, our frictional force our normal reaction will be equal to w sine theta but now f that because we have uh, this uh, force at an angle of alpha that give us our frictional force our normal reaction plus uh, f sine theta will be equal to w cos theta therefore our normal reaction will be equal to uh, w sine theta minus f uh, sine uh, w cos theta sorry then minus f uh, sine theta so for normal reaction normal reaction will be equal to w sine or w cos theta uh, minus f sine alpha okay this is because uh, these uh, two are opposite now so if uh, we these two forces are in the opposite direction and we want uh, a normal reaction which is nr so we have to subtract this force with this force and give us a normal reaction so uh, if we have required to calculate uh, the force are required to uh, the smallest force with the smallest force f yeah. so we have to calculate the smallest force f we can use uh, the formula to calculate uh, friction uh, coefficient of friction coefficient of friction is equal to frictional force over normal reaction yeah. So if uh, frictional force is equal to um, uh, coefficient of friction is equal to frictional force over a normal reaction, then we cross multiply. Then frictional uh, force is equal to a normal reaction multiplied by coefficient of a friction. Okay. So then now we can uh, start uh, solving. So then now we have a normal reaction. Our normal reaction is equal to W cos uh, theta minus uh, sine F sine alpha. Then our frictional force from uh, this equation. So our frictional force, we can drive our frictional force from this equation. Therefore, our frictional force will be equal to then we move on this other side will be f cos alpha minus w sine theta okay so okay uh, then uh, let's come to uh, our uh, diagram again so uh, this is our frictional uh, force and the frictional force is in uh, the horizontal component so if we have to calculate a frictional uh, force we know that f cos uh, t alpha is equal to w sine theta plus uh, frictional force so for to calculate the frictional force that means frictional force will be equal to uh, f cos alpha minus a frictional uh, w sine theta there so that will give us our frictional force then uh, for normal reaction is a w sine theta minus f cos theta so then uh, from uh, this equation now we can start uh, solving for uh, for f so then frictional force is equal to coefficient of friction multiplied by normal reaction and then we have a frictional force is equal to this uh, uh, that means a frictional force is equal to f cos alpha minus w sine alpha equals to our coefficient of friction which is uh, the, the coefficient of friction n2 uh, then our normal reaction will be W is W cos cos theta minus F sine alpha. Okay, then now we can uh, make F the subject of the formula. So if we have to make F the subject of the formula, we must start by 
multiplying at this side with uh, this uh, coefficient of friction. So then we're going to have F cos cos alpha. Then if we take at uh, this F, so then we multiply this F. Then we take this F sine theta into uh, this uh, the other side. That means it's going to be a positive F. Or then multiply by quotient of friction sine alpha is to cos two. Then we take uh, this W sine theta into the other side again. Then uh, we, this one will be a uh, quotient of friction multiplied by W cos theta. Then a plus W uh, sine theta. Okay, then we have our common factor at this side. So uh, the the reason why we transport uh, or F into the other side is because we have to uh, remove our F as our co as our common factor. So then F into of course alpha plus quotient of friction or sine sin alpha is equal to uh, quotient of friction multiplied by cos theta plus w sin uh, theta then uh, it divide both sides then therefore our f will be equal to quotient of friction multiplied by w cos theta plus W sine theta all over cos alpha plus coefficient of friction sine theta. Okay, so uh, this is how you have to calculate and uh, then f. So now if you have f, uh, your subject of the formula, you can. Uh, substitute all the value that you have the coefficient of friction then WW is uh, our weight which is mass multiplied by gravity which our gravity always is 9.81 or 9.8 so and then uh, this is our weight then our angle theta which is the angle of uh, the, uh, the inclined plane then uh, uh, again this is our component uh, parallel to the plane and then cos alpha which is uh, alpha is the angle of uh, the alpha is the angle of uh, this uh, force so uh, this is how we have to calculate the law okay le let's take if uh, this uh, body is now being pushed then. so if uh, this body is being uh, pushed they say now this body is being pushed like this so that means f is here now so if the body is being pushed uh, f cos theta will remain because uh, this body is going upwards again so if the body is going upwards then our frictional force is going downwards but uh, if our f is being pushed then now our vertical our vertical component for f will be a positive will be going downwards because if we resolve this f uh, it will will point downwards here so that means uh, for normal reaction we're going to add our normal reaction will be equals to uh, w sine theta plus f of course uh, alpha and then okay so uh, only if uh, this body is moving at a constant acceleration. So, but if uh, the body is, it has an acceleration, that means we have to uh, use the, uh, this uh, formula. Then we have to include our acceleration here. So, I hope you have. Uh, you will... Okay. So, thank you for watching. Uh, let's look at our next. Uh, just look at our next uh, video, we're going to look at our uh, frictional force in the horizontal uh, plane. So.